uh, cultural studies, um, you know, had this long period when it uh, tried to forget that it had a political edge or political dimension. It went into a you know, splurge of high theory. I'm not against theory, I'm, a, you know, theoretically, I don't believe you can live with, understand things without theoretical concepts. But cultural studies was never an enterprise to produce critical theory, which it kind of became. Much more damaging than that, in its attempt to move away from economic reductionism, it sort of forgot that there was an economy at all. You know, so uh, is, it, is it in a position, it's not in a wonderful position, to, uh, to take that job of conjunctural analysis now on. Though some people within cultural studies are because they do understand that the cultural is constitutive of political crisis. And a lot of other people don't. So they're potentially in a position to make a deeper analysis of the present conjuncture than a lot of traditional political scientists or, you know, economic theorists would. But they would have to recover lost ground. They would have to go back to the political f function of cultural studies, political dimension of cultural studies. And they would have to go back and ask themselves, well, if the economy does not determine everything in the last instance, well, what is the role of the economic in the reproduction of material and symbolic life? So they have to ask themselves economic questions. And now the funny thing is that, you know, historical circumstances impose themselves on how people think. I hear cultural studies people now, you know, talking about the LIBO interest rate and, you know, I mean, talking the language of neoliberal economics, and not talking the language, but trying to understand how the, uh, how the neoliberal global capitalist economy works in ways which I haven't heard cultural studies people talk about the economy for over 20 years. I think there's a kind of return to that. I don't want to see a return to economic reductionism, which, as you know, I've never thought explained anything very much. But as Gramsci always said, the economy can never be forgotten. It has to be taken into account. So cultural studies has to find a way, a language, of integrating, reintegrating politics, culture, and history, as we were trying to do at the very beginning of the project. So you won't be surprised to know, I think it's more like a return to what cultural studies should have been about and was in the early stages. Sort of lost its way very much, although you know, when I say that, I have to remember there are many varieties of cultural studies become a kind of international movement, so that you can't sum it up. In some places, the political has always been close to the edge of, of what was being done. In other places, the economy and politics have been completely forgotten. But it's not in a good, healthy state to undertake that work, but it does have something to contribute to that work of conjunctural analysis of the present, which a lot of other schools of thinking and research and uh, critical work doesn't have. So I think it could, if it pulls its socks up, <laughs> sounding like a headmaster. <laughs> well, sounding like the headmaster I never wanted to be. You know, I never wanted to be cultural studies judge. You know, I, it was too varied, too wide, too broad for any one person to say, this is cultural studies, that is not. I didn't. You know, I didn't want. I, I came out of that uh, that sort of patriarchal position in relation to the field. I wanted to say, I'm going to do some work of this kind in cultural studies, but I'm not going to legislate for what is and what isn't cultural studies. So what I'm saying now is more of an impression of where I think the we are and what the state of the field is than it is a kind of serious, you know, analysis of the trends of cultural studies now. I feel there's a kind of, nevertheless, I feel that there's a kind of uh, choice of pathways going on. I think a lot of people in cultural studies think we can't just go on, you know, producing another analysis of the Sopranos. Sorry. <laughs> uh, something more is happening in the world that requires our attention. I don't know that they know quite how to do it or where to go, but I do feel that shift of move, mood happening in cultural studies now.